August's big day out. Proud mum Princess Eugenie shares a sweet video of her one-year-old son waving at the crowds as he joined Princess Beatrice's stepson Wolfie at the platinum pageant. Princess Eugenie's son August had the time of his life as he joined his family at the Platinum Jubilee pageant on Sunday. The one-year-old son of Eugenie and husband Jack Brooks Bank waved happily at the crowds as he joined his parents, aunt, uncle and extended family in the stands outside Buckingham Palace. August, who was wearing a blue knit jumper with a Union Jack, clapped his hands as he watched the procession take place in front of him. Nearby was his cousin Wolfie. 6. Princess Beatrice's stepson. The outing marked both August and Wolfie's first formal engagements with the royal family. They were joined in the royal box by senior royals including Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall, Prince William and Kate Middleton and their children, and Zara and Mike Tyndall and their daughter Mia. Also in attendance was Peter Phillips, who brought along his girlfriend Lindsay Wallace, and his daughters Savannah and Isla. The pageant came on the final day of a four-day-long celebration marking the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. It culminated in a surprise balcony appearance by Her Majesty, alongside Charles, Camilla and the Cambridges. The Queen, who sources say was determined to bravely overcome her painful mobility issues, returned to Buckingham Palace to personally thank the thousands of well-wishers in the crowd who had turned out to express their own gratitude. She was flanked by her three heirs son, Prince Charles, grandson, Prince William, and great-grandson, Prince George, offering a glimpse into the monarchy's future. The Sussexes were left out of any official role during the Jubilee, and one aide told the Telegraph at the beginning of the Jubilee they would not be having a prominent role in the festivities. The Daily Mail's Richard K. wrote that the long weekend saw a triumph of public service and duty over the celebrity-driven approach of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and whose absence was barely noticed. The Platinum Jubilee pageant was an afternoon of entertainment for members of the royal family, who all sat together alongside their siblings and cousins. The parade told the story of her life, and the nation, with an eccentric, fun and imaginative carnival-like display. An insider said, there was no fanfare, they just went. They didn't stick around for the Platinum Jubilee pageant which is a celebration of Britain and all of its quirks and eccentricities over the Queen's 70-year reign. Instead of attending this and a concert yesterday, Harry and Meghan celebrated their daughter Lilibet's first birthday in Windsor on Saturday with a relaxed birthday party with royal second cousins invited to the festivities. The little girl's birthday party was open to Zara and Mike Tyndale's three children, Mia, 8, Lena, 3, and Lucas, 1, as well as Savannah, 11, and Isla, 10, daughters of Peter Phillips and Autumn Kelly. The couple were also seen at the Friday's Thanksgiving service at St. Paul's Cathedral, where a huge cheer went up as Harry and Meghan arrived and they were greeted at the Great West Door by the Dean of St. Paul's. It was the first time that the couple were on full public view alongside the Windsors since they quit the monarchy for a new life in the U.S. two years ago. They spent a few minutes talking to the senior cleric before they entered the place of worship and proceeded to greet the long line of clergy. But before the festivities started an aide told the Telegraph, the media might try to make them prominent, but in reality they are not going to be playing a prominent role. A line has been drawn. Harry stops to chat for a few moments with the Archbishop of York who later will give the sermon and is expected to praise the Queen's 70-year reign. The Sussexes were also seen from a window at Thursday's Troop in the Colour, but were not on the balcony alongside working royals. Neither Lilibet, nor her older brother three-year-old Darchie, have been seen in public at any of the festivities.
are on full public view alongside the Windsors since they quit the monarchy for a new life in the U.S. two years ago. They spent a few minutes talking to the senior cleric before they entered the place of worship and proceeded to greet the long line of clergy. But before the festivities started an aide told the Telegraph, the media might try to make them prominent, but in reality they are not going to be playing a prominent role. A line has been drawn. Harry stops to chat for a few moments with the Archbishop of York who later will give the sermon and is expected to praise the Queen's 70-year reign. The Sussexes were also seen from a window at Thursday's Trooping the Colour, but were not on the balcony alongside working royals. Neither Lilibet, nor her older brother three-year-old Darchie, have been seen in public at any of the festivities.